certainly hope you enjoyed that piece and those pictures of Sorrento and Capri. It's called Antico Canto Napolitano, and it's going to be on my upcoming album, Carino Mandolino. The mandolin, or in Italian, il mandolino, is a stringed musical instrument of the lute family, and it's usually plucked with a plectrum or pick. It commonly has four courses of doubled metal strings tuned in unison for a total of eight strings. There are many styles of mandolin, but three are common. The Neapolitan or round back mandolin, the carved top mandolin, and the flat back. Neapolitan mandolins feature prominently in European classical music and in Italian traditional folk music, my favorite. Carved top instruments are common in American folk music and bluegrass. Flat back instruments are commonly used in Irish, British, and Brazilian folk music. The mandolin, as you can deduce, is played around the world. Next, we're going to hear a piece called the Tarantella Napoletana. The Tarantella is a dance with a long history, and it first appeared in the 16th century. In the area near Toronto in Italy, a certain spider lived in the fields where they grew their crops. It was called the tarantula, and its bite was deadly. If someone was bitten by this insect, the only known cure was to sweat out the poisonous venom by dancing as hard and as fast as possible. So the tarantella usually features musicians beginning at a medium tempo and increasing the play to as fast as possible. Other accounts of the Tarantella dance say that it was a mating dance. A woman would enter the circle of dancers and choose the man she desired to dance with. Today, traditional Tarantellas do feature both the speeding up of tempo and the dancers entering the circle in pairs, but not necessarily for mating. So here we have Tarantella Napoletana. <laughs> Romans played a predecessor to the mandolin called the Pandura, which was an early form of lute. When the Moors conquered Andalusia in 711 AD, they brought their ancient lute called an Aoud with them. These two ancient musical traditions fused together in the late 16th century. The French called the new instrument the Mandor, 
the Germans call it the Mandower, the Spanish El Vandola, and finally the Italians called it the Mandola. The Italians eventually redesigned their Mandola and produced the Mandolino, which means little mandolin, or the Baroque-style mandolin, a small catgut-strung mandola, and played finger-style. Pasquale Venaccia, who lived from 1806 to 1882, modernized the mandolin, adding features. He created the Neapolitan mandolin around 1835. Pasquale remodeled, raised, and extended the fingerboard to 17 frets, introduced stronger wire strings made of high-tension steel, and substituted a machine head for the friction tuning pegs, which were then standard. The new wire strings required that he strengthen the mandolin's body, and he deepened the mandolin's bowl, giving the tonal quality more resonance. The new mandolin was played with a pick because the strings were metal. At one time, serious composers wrote concertos and symphonies featuring the mandolin. Bach and Vivaldi, among others, have contributed to the many works for the classical mandolin. Raffaele Calacci was a great mandolinist who could perform these difficult pieces and wrote many of his own. Here's one of my favorite Calacci pieces, the Tarantella in A minor. <laughs> Tarantella was a favorite dance of old Italy, but so was the Mazurka. This dance is a sort of a waltz, but more elegant like a minuet when danced in its finest form. This next piece is from the year 1923 and has been a favorite of Italian Americans for all these years. I first heard it played by my friend Mike Giordano, a wonderful accordionist and member of my Italian heritage group, Quartetto Ducati. Mike often plays this song on accordion as his featured solo in our show. The title, Traveglia e Sona, can be translated as Between Waking and Sleeping. This piece has also been called In a Trance. Here's my mandolin version of this very popular Italian-American song.
I love playing that piece, and I hope you like it too. If you've ever watched the credits to the show, you may have heard this very next piece. I wrote this while performing at the old duatory restaurant in Hopog. Mr. Ugo, the owner, was quite happy with my performing and started dancing while I played. So I figured I'd name this next tune after him. I was performing on classical guitar at that time, back in the 90s, and I adapted this tune for mandolin. I now use it for the closing credits of the show. I hope you like Mr. Ugo's Dance of Joy. of the mandolin is the mandolinetto, which is simply a guitar-shaped mandolin. Most of the manufacturers simply call them mandolins, which, while that was technically correct, ignores their uniqueness and significantly different appearance from both traditional bowl-back mandolins and the various later scroll and pear-shaped instruments. Famous makers of these rare instruments were Sears and Bruno, Lion and Healy, Regal, Esso Allison, and the Martin Company. This next piece I call Mandolinetto, even though I perform it on an F-style American mandolin. I hope you enjoy it.
next piece is probably my most famous mandolin composition. It's the opening music for this show, and it's also one of the most popular tunes of mine on the Internet. I belong to the worldwide online songwriters and composers community called Broad Jam, and I'm proud to say it's been a number one selection on their world music charts over 20 times. Here's the full piece, not just the 14 seconds you hear at the start of this episode. enjoyed my little presentation on mandolin music. We still have a little time left, so I'm going to show you two videos. The first is Paula and I in our 60s band called Senior Class, and the second is Paula and myself, Laura and Mike in Quartetto Ducati. Thanks so much for watching. So uh, we call ourselves Senior Class, and uh, I'm Paula, and that's Dave, <laughs> and um, we have unusual names. We are the real thing, ladies and gentlemen, as are most of you. We lived through the 1960s. I just want to tell you, please sing along with us to any song that you love and that you know the words to. We love to see you and hear you because it gives us energy. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. We 
hope you had fun. All right, I have one more song for you. One thing I like about the 60s, there were so many different types of music. Oh, the love, the many people tell us all, she say to all the love, the song you can be chosen, she say to all the love, the cause and più bella, and the love, the stay. Good morning.